Hi everyone, uh, good afternoon. First of all, thank you so much to the ICTP. Uh, uh, today I will give a talk about fast forward adiabatic quantum dynamics and application to XY spin model on uh, Kagomelatis. Uh, me, Iwan Sewan for, from Physics Education Department, University of Bengkulu, Indonesia. This is the outline, introduction, adiabatic quantum dynamics and Fast forward, FF is fast forward, fast forward adiabatic quantum dynamics on spin system, some application to, to spin and three spin system and summary. So this is the motivation, need of speed. So this is the way to accelerate the speed from the transportation, from uh, micro particle, from classical quant, uh, computer to quantum compute, computer. And then this is one of the dream how to speed how to accelerate the growing of the plant, uh, one year becoming a uh, half year, and so on. So this idea is uh, started from adiabatic quantum dynamics theory. If you want to move, for example, this uh, glass of water from one, one position to another position and keep the volume of the water, and uh, it, can, it can be done, but in a very long time. So in this research, we consider how to accelerate, accelerate the time to move this glass of water from one position to another, pos another position, or to keep the eigenvalue of the electron from one position to another position in a very, uh, in a shorter time. So we are considering about how to find a driving energy or uh, additional Hamiltonian to accelerate, to accelerate the system uh, in adiabatic approximation. So this is the story about, about this uh, method. Previous research is so-called translationless quantum driving proposed by these two guys from uh, Emil Plak and Rice and Michael Berry, published in 2005 and 2009. They are pioneer of translationless quantum driving theory. And the main problem here is how to accelerate adiabatic quantum dynamics by finding the uh, driving Hamiltonian. Some previous researchers have been done this research. For example, here we have a fast forward scheme. This is uh, I collaborated with these two guys, Masuda and Nakamura. And also there is, there is an, another method to accelerate the adiabatic quantum dynamics, so-called shortcut to adiabaticity, or STA, uh, proposed by two, these, these guys, Professor Muga, Campo, and then uh, Professor Sen. They propose another method, so-called shortcut to adiabaticity. In this uh, research, we try to consider how to accelerate the adiabatic dynamics on a spin system. So if we have a spin system like uh, this kind of spin, we can accelerate the dynamics of the spin from spin up to the uh, down direction with the uh, driving uh, magnetic field, for example. This is a summary of the results. So this is the theory, this is the concept, this is the method. If we have, suppose we have a diabetic wave function, given here, indicated by, indicated by the parameter RT. So here we, 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 we define an adiabatic wave function. We have, we have already uh, have a diabetic wave function indicated by RT. RT is a, time parameters, including epsilon. Epsilon is uh, tends to zero. So this wave function is a very slow dynamics. And then there is also adiabatic phase here. Uh, this is the definition of adiabatic phase. So here we already have adiabatic wave function. And to obtain this kind of adiabatic wave function, we also should uh, 
modify our uh, Hamiltonian. So this is the a new Hamiltonian to obtain this adiabatic wave function. So here we define an additional Hamiltonian tilde H as a so-called regularization term. Uh, this, by using this Hamiltonian, we can obtain this adiabatic wave function. By substituting this Hamiltonian and then the adiabatic wave function to the Schrodinger equation, we can obtain the formula to obtain the additional Hamiltonian or, or uh, we call a regularization term here in equation two. And then this uh, regularization term is only to keep the motion to be adiabatic, nothing to do with fast forward. So this is only how to, to make the, the dynamics of the spin system uh, uh, keep the eigenvalue from one position, or for example, initial position to the final position. So for example, uh, in the ground state for initial position, and we will, we will find the, uh, the same ground state at the final uh, position. So how to force pass forward, how to accelerate this kind of dynamics? Uh, we try to uh, modify our uh, parameter R here by using uh, uh, a time function. So uh, R here is uh, uh, characterized by this uh, alpha function. Alpha function is a cosine function. So here we see that if t equal to zero and t equal to tff, we have the same uh, same condition of alpha. So uh, in the initial condition and at the final final uh, final condition, we uh, we will get the same. Uh, wave function. So this is the standard wave function. This is the uh, standard wave function without fast forward. By using the time uh, function alpha, we can see that uh, to obtain the target state, the, the time to obtain the target state is uh, shorter than the standard uh, wave function. And then by taking the derivative of uh, fast forward wave function, uh, we can obtain that driving Hamiltonian is original Hamiltonian plus uh, regularization term or additional Hamiltonian. So uh, to accelerate the adiabatic dynamics of spin system, we have to obtain this uh, regularization term or uh, additional Hamiltonian. Here we try to consider an exa example, uh, an XY spin model. Uh, this is a uh, two spin system, uh, J1 and J2 is uh, uh, interaction parameters. And also this is, there is a magnetic field. Uh, from this kind of Hamiltonian, we can, obtain the matrix representation is given here uh, for two spin system. And uh, this is the uh, time dependent of again value for the Hamiltonian. And then we consider the uh, ground state of this again value. For example, this spin line. From the ground state of the again value by using our uh, formula to obtain the regularization term, we can see that to uh, accelerate the dynamics of this uh, Hamiltonian, we have to add another interaction parameter W, which is 
uh, W is interaction parameter of for sigma X and sigma Y. So originally it is only uh, X, X, Y, Y in the original Hamiltonian, but to accelerate this kind of dynamics, we have to add this uh, another uh, interaction parameter uh, tilde W as uh, an exchange parameter of uh, X, Y, Y, X like this. So uh, the exact uh, solution of w, w tilde W is given here. And then next, we tried to consider the three spin system. Uh, yeah, we just look the gate geometry here as a Kagome lattice geometry uh, with interaction between nearest neighbors and between next nearest neighbors is J1. Here's the nearest neighbors, and the next nearest neighbors is G2, uh, shown by the single and double bonds. The Hamiltonian of the spin systems is uh, given here. We have J1 and J2 as an uh, interaction parameter, and then uh, J1 is interaction parameter of 1, 2, and 2, 3. 1, 2, and 2, 3, the nearest neighbors, and J2 is the next nearest neighbors. And then also there is a magnetic field. This is the original Hamiltonian for this system. And then the metric representation of the system is uh, eight by eight matrix. And then we see that uh, time dependent eigenvalue of this Hamiltonian as given here, this is the ground state. So here we consider how to accelerate the ground state, the dynamics of the ground state of this Hamiltonian. We obtain that instead of the original Hamiltonian, this Hamiltonian is, the, instead of this original Hamiltonian, we have also add another interaction parameter, W1 tilde and also W2 tilde as a interaction parameter of X, Y, Y, X, 1, 2, and 2, 3. So this is the original one. Accelerate this, we have to add this two, uh, two interaction parameters. So uh, the dynamics of the wave function uh, initial, initially is a linear combination of uh, this state. And by increasing uh, J2 and decreasing J1 and Bx, the system changes rapidly to the, to the non-entangled state up, up, up like this. So we can accelerate the dynamics by in, uh, including the another two terms interaction parameters. So this is the uh, figure of time dependence of regulation term. So the efforts to accelerate the adiabatic quantum spin dynamics are using candidate regression terms. In two-spin system, the XY model and annealing quantum model, the regression term in driving Hamilton have, have been obtained, so we have also considered the annealing, annealing quantum mod model. Application to Kagome lattice with three-spin system obtained the regression term and uh, another challenge. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for your time. There are a few questions from the uh, chat. Okay, I have one question. I wonder whether fast forward scanning can be generalized to many systems. And then there is a second. Okay. Oh no, there are several. Nice modeling on return expression for many functions, how to develop the modeling. Okay, thank you, Professor Chen. Uh, yeah, we are now considering about how to to use the model of fast forward, the method of fast forward to many spin systems. 
yeah, it's a, the complexity is how to find the, uh, how to diagonalize and what find the eigenvalue of the systems. That's the, uh, one of the difficulties of that, that problem. So uh, I think the complex, uh, the, the problem is still complex because uh, we have to obtain uh, the eigenvalue firstly, and then uh, we, we can choose with uh, eigenvalue that we can accelerate. So, yeah, for, for sure, uh, we believe that this kind of method can be done in uh, many spin systems. Other questions? Many function, okay. Thank you for the talk. So before you mentioned that there was like these two approaches, the one with the shortcuts, to the hepaticity and this fast forward approach, right? So out of a curiosity, I would like to know if are they the same way to express, uh, I mean, it's just a different language and then because they, the equations you showed are uh, the one for the two speed, for example, were identical to the one you'd get with the contradiabatic, uh, yeah. with the other shortcut uh, approach. So is it just a different one language and a, maybe a different procedure to get the same thing or is conceptually different? Yeah, the main goal is the same. And uh, we believe that in the, method, the method is a little bit different because here we use a time scaling uh, R and also another time scaling lambda to fast forward our uh, adiabatic wave function. So uh, as we know that HTA uh, method only concern about how to find the counter diabetic term, and they do not consider about the fast, uh, the time scaling. So here we also consider uh, how to accelerate the adiabatic wave function by using uh, time scaling. But the the method is this a little little bit different, but the main goal is. Uh, the same. You can say that a fast forward is one of the method of STA. I don't know. <clears throat> Other questions? Okay. If not, uh, we thank the speaker.